Who's good potatoes? Long night. Uh, spin the leak here with another movie review this time around. It's the 1978 Halloween. I think it's 1978. It is 1978. Halloween is sort of John Carpenter's baby, and Jamie Lee Curtis is the final girl uh, for the majority of these movies. Um, basically, Michael Myers, uh, someone who is completely and totally sane, I think he murdered his sister in 1960 something. Uh, Anyway, after that, he was sent away to an institution, he escapes on Halloween to return home, and goes on a killing spree. One thing that sets Michael aside from um, most of the popular maniacs in our typical slasher and horror films is there's nothing special about him. Uh, unlike Jason, he is not dead or horribly disfigured. Unlike Freddy, he is not haunting dreams. Unlike um, shit, most of the slashers you can name. There's no real deformity or magical power or large amount of evil that's like inside of him pulsating. He is just crazy. Crazy to the point that he doesn't understand that he needs to die um, or understand that he can die. And this is what kind of lets him keep going after getting stabbed in the neck, shot multiple times, thrown off a balcony, hit by a car. Um, it's spooky whenever you think about it like that. I keep getting these uh, spam texts. Um, and honestly, it was something very unique, very unnerving at the time. Uh, the Halloween movies hold up pretty well. Uh, the deaths after, you know, basically the difference in how movies were back then as compared to how they are today, uh, how they had to do most of the deaths and, uh, what tools they had to use, um, the ways that they presented them, it was all just pretty funny. Uh, these days, this is closer to a comedy, uh, Younger viewers really wouldn't be interested in this because there's not enough stimulus. Um, the average teenager these days, if someone's not getting shot or stabbed like every five seconds, like they, under, they don't understand suspense. Um, they're not going to pay attention to in-depth storylines or anything like that. They're going to be looking for the action and the sex. Um, All in all, uh, this movie is every bit as <clears throat> investing as I remembered. Um, it held up fairly well from my point of view, but today's audience wouldn't be too interested in it. Um, this is only the first in a long line of Halloween reviews I'll be doing if you saw my uh, Halloween in December video. Uh, but the overall feel of it was kind of eerie. Uh, you had a great sense of the characters, really had no clue what was going on. Uh, and it followed a lot of the slasher film rules that really won't be, that are no longer a thing. Um, the original slasher film rules would be uh, anyone drinking, smoking, uh, doing drugs, or having sex, using profanity, they're going to die. Virgins typically live the longest. Um, anyone who goes off in their own will pretty much die. Uh, movies, well, this type of slasher movie will always start off with a murder. Um, whether at some point back in time or it's happening currently, they'll start you off with a murder, have a long pause, and then have a long pause between each murder uh, up until the end where the main action kind of kicks off. The little one-on-one uh, -on -one fight with the final girl. Um, it's a very basic formula. And it has helped multiple franchises. Uh, from the 1970s all the way till now. But they're starting to kind of redo it. Uh, at this point, pretty much no one's safe in horror films. But they still have the final girl element going for them. That's a big thing. Uh, I'm waiting to see that kind of evolve. Anyway, I did enjoy this movie. Um, because of its age, because of uh, how it could potentially hold up, uh, and because of the performance of what were back then uh, kind of unseasoned actors, uh, I'm going to give this one two potatoes. It's a classic, and I love it. But I have to think about kind of larger scheme of things, I have to be fair in my review of it. It 
back in the day, it would have been four, five potatoes. Uh, but this isn't something that cuts it nowadays. Um, and it's unfortunate to say that, because I do fucking love this movie, but I'd like to set my personal feelings aside and see if this movie is enjoyable overall. Um, have you seen this film? Which I fucking hope you have. Um... I do actually recommend it, even with a low rating. Are you planning on watching this film? Um, leave all that in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, keep on keeping on, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.